How to stop forearm pain near your elbow quickly? The question many people who have forearm pain near their elbow frequently ask is, how did this happen? Or what did I do to deserve this? First of all, don't worry, you're not alone. It doesn't take much to strain the muscles and tendons in your forearms. Or should I say it doesn't require heavy lifting or extreme force. Rather, pain in your forearm, especially near your elbow, is usually the result of performing an action, activity, or movement over and over again where you extend and repeatedly bend your wrist upwards. This is where your investigation begins. So what kind of actions and movements can cause forearm pain near your elbow? Think of movements that you do every day or perhaps you have done within the past week or days where you've had the same do, to do the same movement over and over again without much of a break or rest time. Now don't think of heavy lifting activities. Think more along the lines of duties that required you to constantly squeeze, grip, or hold an object while doing some kind of work or task. An activity that anyone who lives in a climate that receives snow in the winter does is shoveling snow. It seems like an innocent enough force activity but it can cause severe forearm pain especially if you are shoveling every day or overusing your arm by doing the same action over and over again. Or perhaps in the springtime raking up leaves in your garden or simply using a broom to sweep your driveway or sidewalk is an action that is intense enough to cause inflammation, pain and swelling in your elbow or forearm. So what if you've had outside elbow pain and or upper forearm pain for more than three days? Are you experiencing outer elbow pain that sometimes shoots down your arm and into your wrist or hand? If so, what does it all mean? This can be an indication that something more serious has happened and that you've actually injured yourself. There are many small muscles in your forearm that help you grip and squeeze that an injury to any one of these creates a whole set of problems with the normal use of your forearm. From a decrease in flexibility to a dramatic decrease in your overall grip strength where you can no longer hold on to anything with confidence. The injury that you most likely have suffered is referred to as tennis elbow. It's also called lateral epicondylitis or elbow tendonitis. Now it mostly affects males between the ages of 40 and 60. And surprisingly enough, the majority of cases come from people who don't even play tennis. But to make sure that it is tennis elbow that you have, here are a couple of signs and indicators to watch out for. <clears throat> First, is your injured arm stiff and hard to fully straighten or extend? Does the pain sometimes shoot from your elbow down your forearm and into your hand or wrist? Have you noticed a decrease in grip strength or perhaps you sometimes drop things? Is your elbow tender to the touch on the outside of your forearm? Do you experience an increase in elbow pain when you grip or squeeze tightly on an object? For example, does your elbow pain get worse when you carry grocery bags, turn a doorknob, shake someone's hand, or grip a coffee mug? These are the top five symptoms and signs of a tennis elbow injury. Now don't worry about the name, it has very little to do with playing tennis. In fact, 95% of people who even don't even get it from playing tennis. Now statistics show over and over again that you are 10 times more likely to develop tennis elbow in the workplace than you are while playing tennis or any other sport. Tennis elbow is a major concern for occupational workplace and safety committees for the simple reason that individuals like yourself are having to take time away from work because of this injury which costs companies around the world millions of dollars each year in productivity loss. Now which muscles and tendons of your forearm are damaged when you have tennis elbow? The primary forearm muscles that become injured, inflamed and or damaged when you get tennis elbow are the forearm extensors. These muscles sit on top of your forearm and are responsible for movements such as gripping, squeezing, and any other action that requires you to bend your wrist upwards. Now not many people give a second thought to how many times you have to grip or squeeze or hold something in your hand. Each time you, that you grip your coffee mug, you turn a doorknob or type on your computer keyboard, you open your car door, or you grip your smartphone, 
These are all tasks that we do each and every day without even thinking about it until we start to experience pain. Now as these forearm muscles become irritated from repeating the same action over and over again, they become inflamed and swollen. As a result, they start to tighten up and constrict, which pulls on your extensor tendon, which is attached at your elbow. This is when you start to experience a decrease in your arm's normal range of motion, flexibility, plus some elbow tightness and stiffness, which are all common symptoms of tennis elbow. Now if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you will see an image of where your extensor muscles and, tennis and tendons are located. So now that you know that you have tennis elbow and that your forearm pain is not just a random thing, especially if it's been hurting for three days or more, what can you do about it? Tennis elbow is a very treatable condition that you can cure on your own from the comfort and convenience of your own home without drugs, medication, medical gadgets, or special exercise equipment. There's no need for elbow braces or cortisone injections. In fact, all it really takes are five easy to follow techniques that you can do right now to eliminate your tennis elbow and forearm pain near your elbow for good. Please scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the button that says video shows you easy steps you can do right now. Thank you for listening.